so here I am on the way to London. Uh, it was very close. I almost didn't get my visa, but um, alas, we've made it. I've got my first show on the 16th of July and um, five shows in London. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of excitement for me because I've never performed in London before. At the same time, I've got a lot of work to do while I'm there because of the shows that I'm preparing to shoot at the Lurie Theatre and in Mitchell's Plain. So I'll take you on the journey with me and let's see what the Queen has to say. I'm lucky, here's my bag coming. And it's early in the morning, but look at all these bags. Unclaimed and lost baggage. Paddington Station 2. Well, I'm in a very sunny London and it is 7 a.m. and uh, I'm making my way to my room. So this time I'm staying at a university. So I'm staying at the Queen Mary uh, University of London. So they rent out their dorm rooms as like hotel accommodation. You can book it, normal bookings.com thing. And um, now normally I've been, I've been burned once before when I was in America trying to book a cheapy vibe. So this one um, looks much better, but I had no option but to stick to it because what I do is I look for accommodation, I look for something affordable, and I got this thing, right? And then as close it, as the time came by, I said, oh, I'll look for something else. It's a bit, you know, a little better, depending on how tickets sell and all that. Because there's no alien man, it's my fro was easy, you can't see And the closer it got, then I didn't get visa, and then I was like, yo, by the time the visa came, the flights were so expensive, then I was like, thank goodness I have this place that's more affordable, because otherwise, this would have been an ungovernable situation. So let's see how it looks. Disco, what a luck. Look at it there, it's a bed, it's clean. Got my own room, lots of security, and there's even a laundry. This is great, it's a university. So look at the bathroom. Um, yeah, nice, nice, you know, look at this, my res is right next to the canal. I'm in a beautiful mall here, you can see, buy a mooi mall, buy a mooi goed, you know, mostly stuff you can get in South Africa as well. But the prices is not for a South African pocket, eh? Now you must work in Europe for these prices. Huh? But anyway, I'm just here to get a universal plug. But they get home. Nobody is for it. Now I've got to get that one so that I can charge my Gucci And then I've got to go to the theater for my tech rehearsal. So this is Islington and this is where the show is going to be. Now I just, oh, over there, here's the theatre. All the people that have uh, sort of played here. It's a pub at the bottom. For drinking vibes and the theatre's upstairs. I'm in good company. Jimmy Carr was here. Very nice guy, I met him once in Canada. So, I'm um, done with my sound checks and things. I am now going to have a drink with a friend that I, like, so from high school, that moved to London straight after high school and moved with his, his wife to put you in the vlog. Keiki so, Keiki, be great, Keiki so. From Port Elizabeth. From Port Elizabeth. Now he loves you. Look at this. 
Ah, it has it. Wow. Yo, when would you ever get a view like this? Sure. That is London, my friend. Yes, it is. No, it's a play that you compose it. Kado is a trick. London, too. To say a lighty. To fatty a security job. No, where can I security for home? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, man. Head of operations. Hey. I'm still a Kado. Kego fancy as a D. He doesn't even see it anymore. This is his life. But from me, Kego Legi, look. So you see everyone running and rushing because it is now 11.33 and the tube stops running at 12, otherwise you're on the night bus, which stops everywhere. So then you can't get home for hours. So it's imperative. So you may know no buyer yet in England. It's imperative that I get to platform one to make it to my destination. But it was a good night with an old friend. So I mean, catching up. Things get time passes quickly. Yeah, I'm alone on the train. I'll never be trained for now, for now, for now. Hello, I'm interrupting this vlog for a small commercial break. Well, you know, my commercial. I am back in South Africa. My throat is a bit uh, on meds and all those things. And I just wanted to tell you guys, we are shooting my one man show at the Lyric Theater. It's the first time ever for me. I'm turning 40 that week. And what a, uh, I'm giving myself this as a gift. We are 80% sold out. Um, I would love to have you there. Um, please get yourself over to Quicket and get some tickets. We're also shooting in Mitchell's Plain. We have sold out the 29th of July in Mitchell's Plain, but we still have tickets for the 28th of July in Mitchell's Plain. So 28th of July in Mitchell's Plain and at the Lyric Theatre, uh, my birthday show. And if you've seen the show in Joburg, when it started last year in June, there was 200 people that I trialed the show on. I would implore you, those people, to come to the show again because you'll see how much it's changed and refined over the last year. Thank you. Enjoy the vlog. So I'm here by Big Ben and it's just after 12. And for those of you that don't know, they've been doing maintenance on Big Ben for four years. So there's no sound. No dong, 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 dong. That's gone for the last four years because they're busy doing conservation work and like sort of trying to obviously maintain the bell. So from this bridge, you can see all the cool stuff. So there's the London Eye, this is the Thames, there's Big Ben in the background. And if you look over there, that over there is Scotland Yard. That's the shard and I'm on my way to the Barrow Market. This is a freshly squeezed orange and mango. Covent Garden. Just came to see. Me and Jason and Lauren was here on a Christmas Eve. Just the three of us. And it was bitterly cold, but it was vibey here. And we had a pie at that little pie shop over there. And crepes afterwards. And that was the last meal we were going to see that was going to be good. Because the next day, we didn't know how London shuts down for Christmas. There was nothing open. We were at a kebab shop. It was the saddest little Christmas of him. And my Mali get lekker up at his. He tried for loop. So, you know, I want to say, I'm going to take a jacket on and I'm so angry because my shows don't start yet. I have treated myself to a ticket to the West End. I'm very good at Prat, so fun, my fantastic angles here in London. I can help you. I can help you. 
Is my accent now? Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go and see a show at the West End. I'm going to my jacket on the track. I'm going to get some swarm. My friend is scandal and stick. So here we are. There is where Hamilton is playing, which I'd also like to see. But I'll see about those tickets because they normally oh, ugly. Look at how amazing this is. That's set. Yup. So by my answer. It's half done now. And the finale at the end of the half. When's it going to I was flickering and quiet. So that was unbelievably good. Like, unbelievably. <laughs> so good. The detail, the performances. Wow. So, I'm ready to go for my trinkets, my laptops, my things. Because in London, I'm doing everything myself. It's all me, baby. Show business. Let's go. So, set up, stage time. Running my music. That's the view from my backstage area. This is the backstage. Backstage, backstage. Backstage, baby. Let's see. And then this is my theater. So that's that. I'm on my way back to my place where I'm staying. My first show was fun. People came out from far and wide, all the way from Manchester. Am I saying it right? Manchester. Um, yeah, tomorrow's another day. Means it's like a trek in the train. Interesting to watch. Anyway, let me go. Look who's here. Durban's in the house. Hello. How you doing? Forever. Look at us. Oh no. So this is my very good friend Jess. She used to do all the comedy promotions in Durban, all of it. And she used to book me when I was absolutely nobody. And now I'm still nobody, nobody but I'm someone's wife. And uh, someone's husband, not wife. <laughs> someone's husband, you know. But she's here in London now. She lives in London. Now she's a tour Look guy. how wonderful you are doing. <laughs> I'm doing a show at the Top Secret, which is a famous comedy club in London. Um, you can see all the popular acts that have been here. There's Gola, a friend from South Africa. You know, this gentleman as well. All of them actually. The thing about being a comic is, is that every time you get to a different town, there's different sensibilities. Even in South Africa, where you, I know everything, about the country, or I know the people. Doing a show in Gravity Net versus doing a show in Cape Town versus doing a show in Pretoria. People have different sensibilities. And when you leave the country, even more so. So like every time you're in a new place, it's nerve-wracking because you don't know what conversations these people are having in their houses, what's going on in their lives, what are they sensitive about, what are they not sensitive about. And that's the tough part. <laughs> So my friend Ricardo took the half a day off to uh, show me London. He knows everyone and he manages these big buildings. So the last time he took me to his building and this time he took me to one of the guys that used to work for him's building that now runs this building. And they gave us access to the rooftop. Look at that. What a view. So, so uh, Ricardo has taken me, well, Ricardo has taken me to meet his friend. His friend has given us access to this rooftop here. Yeah. Hey, Sky Garden. It's nice to know people, eh? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Yo! Look, that's the shot. This is the clearest view of London you're going to get on the warmest day in London ever. Right? Very good. So, Ricardo, I don't know if you're going to get a date. 
En jy moet op ambel speel. Ja, ja. Ek gaan vraag vraag jy hier die rechte antwoorde. Ek gaan probeer. Ja. Toe jy hierna toe kom, wat is die job wat jy gevat? Security. Maar hoe kom jy hier landen toe getrek? Ach, but it's different. Yeah. It's different to explore. Hoe oud was jy? Ek denk ek was 24, 23. En jy, het, jy was hier security gewees? Security, ja. Security en, die grond. En hoeveel jaar jy gewerk by eigen bouw? Um, 13 jaar. En toe jy loop af, wie was jy? Um, ek werk by landlords. So jy was, jy het gegaan van security af, na die basically, die senior, meer senior operations positie in hy gebouw. Iets soos daar, ja. Nee, het is nie iets soos daar nie, het is dat, because we getting access to all of these buildings because of Ricardo. So Ricardo, the guy that runs this building, that's the head of operations in this building, Ricardo nurtured him when he came into the country from Singapore, and now he runs this building, and Ricardo runs the building that I will show you in the other floor. But, it's nice to see your friends grow. Look at this. Thank you, Milan. Cheers, Milan. Cheers, Milan. Bye. Cheers, Milan. <laughs> now, I must say, today was lovely, eh? It was the hottest day in London ever. But what a lovely day. You show... Oh, it was a nice time, man. Thank you, Meneer. Anyway, I'll go to Ricardo. Thank you for a lekker dag, bro. Nice, man. Thank Don't you. Don't go to Or not, sir. Okay, come. Yeah, bye. Right. He really gave me a great time. We saw things that I would never see if he wasn't with me. It's really cool. Alcohol. Okay.